AirPods are now four years old. Today, we are so excited to show you a new product from Apple called Apple AirPods. How do you set them up? You simply put a pair of AirPods near your iPhone and open the case. The user interface pops up and says connect, and you tap connect. Before moving to London, AirPods were just an expensive gimmick. But after living here and working in London, some time now, if AirPods aren't in someone's ears, there's normally a problem, because everyone wears them. For headphones that are actually half a headphone, they seem to be on the pricey side of life. And with anything pricey, I introduce the fake version. I brought some fake AirPods back in April to see how long they would last and what they were like compared to the real headphones. The fake AirPods cost me a whole £30, while the real AirPods cost me over £100. They're both purchased from the same site. The phone I used to compare these were the Pixel 3 and the iPhone. I thought using a non-iPhone would be more fair. Obviously, the biggest problem is Pixel doesn't have an AirPod app, so I downloaded an app called AirDroid. It's not great, but it will do. Connection to both iPhone and Pixel is instant with the Pixel, of course, with third-party app, so there's a slight different experience, but overall, great. Again, surprisingly, the connection is actually pretty good. The fake pair of AirPods actually register as AirPods on both iPhone and Pixel. sound on these are great. I have my headphones always at the loudest volume, so these are perfect. Surprisingly, the fake ones aren't that bad either. They're quite clear and even have touch features that work on Google Pixel when the real ones don't have that. So far, I've had no problem with the real AirPods. It might help with the fact I've put a case on the AirPod charger, but apart from that, these feel very sturdy. For the first three months, honestly, these AirPods were great until one day the microphone fell off at the bottom and it looks like it's stuck together with glue which meant it no longer charged as this was its charging point. This meant the fake AirPods were no longer. For the price, if you're genuinely unsure that AirPods are for you, 30 pound ones honestly aren't the worst thing. But for the long haul, if you want a pair of headphones that are gonna last and you know are real, just pay the money for the real ones. At the end of the day, you pay for what you get. Thank you.